Sorry about that. My cameraman was eating over there. We had to wait on him to quit munching so he didn't hear people chewing in the background. Video two of five, most common questions asked about wells and pumps and well drilling and all those things of nature. Wendell Lee Well Services, thank you for tuning in. Uh, gonna keep the video train rolling here. Video two out of five we're gonna be talking about is how can I get more water pressure out of my water well? <laughs> One of the most common questions I get asked all the time. Uh, when I'm drilling a well, hey, I just want a well that's going to give me good water pressure. Or when I'm pulling somebody's pump out, they'll ask me, you know, I haven't really had that great of pressure. How can I increase my water pressure? Um, so there's all kind of different ways to do that. Um, water pressure in general what this guy's showing right here, whatever your pressure gauge is. Um, believe it or not, you know, this is a standard pressure switch. Most of them come set now at 4060. We've already done a video about that. Hope you smash the thumbs up like button on that one. Hope you smash the thumbs up like button on this one. Keep the YouTube algorithm happy. Um, you know, it's as easy to do as just get a nut driver and compress this spring down to increase your pressure. Um, you, you know, believe it or not, these most common switches are set on 4060. Uh, back in the day, 20, 30 years ago, they would be 3050. Uh, some of them would even be less than that, would even be 4020. Uh, cut on at 40, cut off at 20. So you're probably asking, well, how did people make it on 20 pounds of pressure? Well, things weren't as complicated back then as they are now. Um, but that's kind of leading into my next way to increase your water pressure is this guy right here. Yes, I'm holding two different sticks of pipe here, but one size is obviously bigger than the other. You can only get a certain amount of flow out of each size pipe. Flow and water pressure are two things that coincide very, very closely with each other. We're gonna do a separate video on this so stay tuned for that. But the second way you can increase your water pressure is to increase your water flow coming through your piping system, AKA ensuring your piping is big enough to deliver the water flow and the pressure you need. Stay tuned for a future video on that one though. Option number three is similar to this, but if you got a variable speed drive, it's easy. You just go to the controller and tell it instead of wanting 60 PSI, you want 70 PSI. Um, you know, you want 75 PSI, whatever you want. Uh, 60 is pretty common. You know, some people with city water systems, I've even heard of them running all the way up to 90 pounds. Uh, that's getting on up there. So anywhere between 60 and 75 is kind of what we like to see. And then lastly, uh, the more expensive option is to go with one of these babies. Increase your pump size. You know, they technologies came a long ways. Uh, they got all these high tech fancy things out there now. Uh, you know, showers that flow from about five different directions on you. Top and the bottom, the side and the side and up high and down low and at your feet. And you know, next thing you know, all, all those add up to about 15 gallons a minute and you got a 10 gallon a minute pump in there and that 10 gallon a minute pump just isn't gonna do it. Or somebody's gonna be in the shower and they're using all the water and somebody downstairs can't get enough water pressure to flush a toilet or brush your teeth. So that's the last option, but that is another option to do is to put a bigger pump in there. Uh, obviously that's gonna be heavily dependent upon what you already have installed piping, wiring, uh, what your well is, how much water it's producing, uh, those kind of things. So hope I haven't rambled on too much, um, but the, that's probably the second most common question I get asked all the time is I want a well with good water pressure or how can I increase my water pressure out of my water well? And that highly coincides with what I brought up earlier in the video, which will be our next video is the difference between water pressure 
and water flow. So thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button if you like this. Leave us comments. As always, we like seeing you comments. So give us some ideas about what you want to see or what you want to hear about. We will happily address them for you. Check us out at WendellyWellServices.com. Appreciate you.